Hey Aries, how you doing? I hope you are really, really well. My name is Diane and we're going to do a love reading for May slash June. But it is a timeless reading, you know, so whenever you happen to get this is when you were meant to see it, Aries. You're very, very welcome here. Um, and I really appreciate you taking the time to check out the reading. Uh, if you feel like liking and subscribing for me, you know, I'd appreciate that so much too. And I also have a new channel out called How to Train Your Caterpillar, which is a spiritual life coaching channel. So if you feel like checking that out for me, I'd appreciate that so much too. The link will be in the description box. So who is coming towards you, Aries? Six of Cups. So, Six of Cups, soulmate energy, you have you know this person in some capacity, okay? So it's either someone you already know, or it's someone from a past life, possibly both. You know, you might have worked with this person, could be someone that you're waiting for. They're coming in fast, whoever they are. They're coming in very fast, could be a Gemini, with that Knight of Swords energy. Okay, what else about this person? Now, there's something about this energy they really love that you're independent. They really love... <laughs> Let me just get the words. You're very independent and you don't ask for anything from anyone. You just kind of get on with it and you are very impressive in that way. But they think that's really cute. <laughs> they think it's really, really cute that you are so kind of independent that you're just like, no, I won't take your help. I don't need anybody's help. I don't need your help. They, they think it's super cute um, and it makes them want to give to you more. This person just wants to give you everything. <laughs> they just see you're so cute. This person might be kind of big, like they might be You know, like a, a gentle giant kind of thing. You have judgment here. They could be a Capricorn. I want to see why that's come out before I start talking about it, okay? Because it can mean a couple of things. Judgment usually means a past life connection as well, though. Let's see what else about this person coming in for Aries. That's quite a lot. Let's see what you got here. You have the page only four okay you have the page of pentacles so they could be virgo capricorn they're not sure that you're you're going to want this in this offer you have the nine of swords here it could be a, that's a gemini um this person's an overthinker they're a warrior okay you have the Ten of Wands, so there's some kind of heavy burden here weighing this person down. Or there has been. And you have the Strength card, could be a Leo. Let's clarify. Clarify that Six of Cups, please. Seven of Cups. Six and the Seven of Cups. They're kind of nervous of you. Um, they do think you're a, you're a little too good to be true. There's a little bit of the unknown here, you know. I gotta say, for some of you watching, I think maybe you guys don't know each other that well. Like it might have been that you met, and then it just it never got together or something like this. And but they felt this kind of instant connection to you. But there's still you're a bit of an unknown quantity here. Could be another Aries. They're very responsible. Whoever this person is, like they're very responsible. Clarify the judgment, please. Yeah, this person's taken a really long time. Where's it gone? Um, Seven of Pentacles with the judgment. Like this person took a really long time to make this decision to come towards you. Took them a really, really long time. Um, I'm just going to take the Seven of Pentacles. Clarify that Page of Pentacles, please. 
clarify the page of pentacles clarify the page of pentacles so they're taking this leap of faith towards you again i, I think here with the seven of cups they have this overwhelming attraction to you, right? Six and seven of cups. There's like this overwhelming attraction to you. You are this person's wish fulfillment. Um, you have heavy past life energy cards here, Aries, with the six of cups, the judgment and the star. Page of pentacles, they're going to reach out to you. They're going to make you this offer. They're not sure that you want the offer. They might be a little shy. You do intimidate them. In a good way, okay, but they're just, they're not sure if you're on the same page here because they feel like a very intense draw towards you, you know, two of cups energy, this person sees you as a soulmate. So they're taking that, like, they're kind of jumping off the cliff here, you know what I mean? They're taking this leap of faith towards you. They're very worried. <laughs> Clarify this nine of swords, please. Yeah, they're very worried. <laughs> Nine of Swords with the Eight of Swords. This is the thing that's, like, if this is someone you've been waiting for, this is the reason you've not heard from them. Because they've really got themselves all tied up in their own thoughts. Like, thinking the worst, kind of self-fulfilling prophecies, you know what I mean? Because they haven't really been tied up, you know? They, you know, it's just that they, they got kind of lost in their head. They got lost in their thoughts here. Clarify that Ten of Wands. The Two of Wands, ah, it was some kind of decision, Aries. They have the Ten of Wands with the Two of Wands here. So making the decision to come towards you was a very heavy burden for them. Again, you have this Five of Swords here. I say it again because... It was a very similar energy in the Gemini reading, and you guys have kind of been overlapping. You know, a lot of the Gemini Aries readings have kind of been overlapping, so I'm assuming here, for at least some of you, that this person may have been with a karmic. Now, that I don't know if that's like they're with them now. Um, I feel like it is, because they're making some kind of decision here, some kind of decision that was a very heavy burden. There again, you have a, a decision that took a long time, right? And I feel like for a lot of you, it's because they were with a karmic. Someone who was very bitchy, like someone very withholding of love, very um, sharp-tongued, very critical. You know, the Five of Swords energy is like, just throwing your time and your love and your money into a black hole, basically. Someone that's very manipulative, someone maybe kind of narcissistic, you know, that gets you all turned around in your head. I don't know if you've ever dealt with anyone like that, but it's not pleasant because there's like this veil of confusion that they manage to kind of put inside your head that confuses you about everything. And it almost makes you, for one thing, it makes you question your own self-worth. Is the, is the first thing. It's actually called gaslighting, where it's like that kind of thing where they, they make you question yourself all the time until the point where you literally, you know, they can tell you that black is white, they can tell you that up is down, you know, and you're like, is it okay? Like, I don't know, I'm so confused. Um, so this person may have been dealing with someone very critical, okay? And you have the hermit here. So you have strength. Clarified by the Hermit. So that you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this person's really been going inwards to find their inner strength. You know, the Hermit is a card of someone... They've been spending a lot of time, exactly like I was saying, like they've, they've gone inwards here to try and find their inner strength. You have given them a lot of strength. You know, I feel like you're kind of their inspiration here because you are so strong. It makes them strong. They get strength from you. Clarify this page of pentacles here. All right. 
That's a lot of cards. So you have the Four of Swords, so you've been in separation. Queen of Wands. Um, let's see here. You have the Magician. You have the Six of Wands. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Wands. Yeah, Chariot. Three of Cups and the Four of Wands. Some of you are definitely in a third party. So actually part of the reason that you guys have been in separation is because you had to learn confidence, Aries. That was part of the reason that this could not have come together earlier because you were supposed to step into some kind of leadership role like where you were, if that, if that doesn't apply in terms of your career, certainly within your own life, you're supposed to have stepped into some kind of leadership role here to see your own worth. Um, you are very much an inspiration for this person. Like your strength is very much an inspiration for this person. They have everything they need now. So they're gonna to come towards you very fast. You could be, a, could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini, you could be dealing with a Cancer. But I just keep wanting to say this, like you, you are my strength, you gave me so much strength. Like I saw how strong you were and it made me wanna be strong too. Cause you don't care. Queen of Wands energy, you don't care. Like in the nicest possible sense, you know, it's like, well, you're not gonna treat me like that. You know what I mean? I don't need you, which is, how it should be, right? Like you don't need to surround yourself with people when they're treating you badly, right? It's better to be alone than to do that, right? Um, which is what this person has realized. But yeah, the magician, this person has been learning some like intense lessons here from whatever karmic situation they were dealing with. It's made them very, very focused. It's made them very determined, very, very determined to make the changes that they needed to in their life, which at least for some of you involves walking away from a karmic. If it's not a karmic, which for most of you, I feel like it is, it's a defensive streak that they had is what they're walking away from, okay? And again, here you have the six of wands with the three of cups. So I think a lot of you are involved in a third party situation. Six of Wands, you know, is this person overcoming the third party situation, okay? To move on, see how he's facing forwards, like to come towards you, right? And it's fated. You have the Wheel of Fortune here with the Four of Wands. It's fated, like you're going to end up in a connection with this person, a long-term connection. Um, commitment, marriage, for those of you that are looking for marriage. Clarify this, uh, they're, they're opening their heart to you. This page of pentacles is someone opening their heart to you because they, they truly believe that you are their soulmate. Like you, they truly believe that you're meant to be together uh, and they're taking this leap of faith towards you. Clarify the page of pentacles. Just give them a shuffle. Clarify that page of pentacles, please. Clarify that page of pentacles. Clarify the page of pentacles. That's the same cards that I put back. Why do I bother arguing? You have the four of swords with the star. That focus, there we go. So page of pentacles clarified by the four of swords and the star. So they've been healing. This person's been doing some healing when you guys were apart, um, but the separation is over, okay? This two of cups is union. This is coming together. This person's coming in to offer you union here. This is what you've been waiting for. They wanna heal, because um, there's a gap here between you, right? Like you've not been talking or you've been in separation or something. They want to heal that. Yeah. They want a new beginning with you here. Death card and the world. This person's ending something. 
to be with you. Gemini had these cards too, the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Cups. This is a newer energy, Aries. I mean, you know, obviously you already know them in some way for some of you, but it's a newer energy, like this is not your ex. And they're coming in for commitment here. Queen of Wands. They do put you up on a pedestal a bit here, Aries, this Queen of Wands energy. You know, they see you as someone, they think you're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. They see you as someone that like takes no ish. Um, they're very impressed with you. They think they think you are gorgeous, and it's part of what's alluring about you is your confidence. Like they love that you're so confident. They love that you don't care. They love that you're just like, no, you're not going to treat me like that. Nope, not happening. I don't need anybody's help. I can do everything all by myself. And you always have some kind of vision. It's like they they really like that you always have a vision about what you're going to be doing. You know, you always have like some kind of cool project on the go. And you make them very happy. You make this person very happy. This person feels <clears throat> like you could, like you would make them very happy. They feel like you have what it takes to make them happy. And they love that you're really fiery. They love that you're really passionate as well. Let's go. Let's go into yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This person's coming in for commitment. You have a lot of the same cards that Gemini had. Uh, what's currently going on with Aries person? What's currently going on with Aries person? <laughs> so that's a lot of cards. Um, let's see. Surround yourself with positive people in situations and avoid negativity. Gemini had a very similar card. Um, so I, th I think they're with someone who is very negative and you're so positive. They just love your energy. Like they want to be with you. They want to be with your energy. Ignite the fire within you that connects you to the divine. So you've kind of lit a fire within this person, Aries. Um, you know, they feel like... Because it is a soulmate connection, they feel like you you guys just clicked. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but because it is such a soulful connection, they feel like it's connected them to the divine. I feel like you're dealing with someone here and they may not have believed in soulmates and all this kind of stuff before before you met, but they believe it now. Because I really do think you're dealing with a past life connection here, like very, very strong. I think the connection was almost instant. Because Two of Cups is someone that just totally gets you. Like you feel the same way about things. You have the same goals for life. You know, um, you're very much on the same page. And it's equal. You know, this is someone who... I feel like you're both really sweet. And I feel like you've both dealt with people who've taken a lot from you in the past, but this person's not going to do that and they see that about you too. Although you may be the more fiery one in the connection, but that's okay. And you have a fresh start is coming with new opportunities, nurture your ideas. So yeah, this person's wanting to, they have this idea. Gemini, it was very similar in Gemini's reading, like, they realize that this person that they're with is so negative and you make them so happy and they have this idea about being with you and they can't stop thinking about it so they're coming in that's what they're coming in to talk to you about Aries. and you have you're sending out positive signals to attract new experiences so this person's manifesting this like they're desperate for this connection with you Aries. um they feel very connected to the divine. I feel like for the first time in their life, they feel like they have control over their own life. And it's because they're so connected to the divine through the connection with you. Like they feel like what they do. How do I, how do I describe it? It's like, 
and you gave them hope that just wasn't there before. It's almost like, you know how in that Amy Winehouse song she talks about being a penny just rolling up the walls in, in life? I feel like this person maybe felt like that before, but meeting you, partly because you're so strong, it made them realize that they could be strong too. But partly, be like mostly because it's this divine connection that makes them feel more alive. It makes them realize like it's not just a random sequence of events, like things happen for a reason. Like I met Aries for a reason. I met Aries to show me the way out of the darkness. Because I do feel like they've been in darkness. But they're desperately trying to manifest this with you. Like they're sitting they're sending out like positive signals to get this excuse me connection with you and if you've not met this person yet this is what this person's doing like they're currently in the process of manifesting you Aries they're so sweet I just love them I love this person um so yeah that is your reading Aries I hope it was useful many thanks for watching if it was useful don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that I'd appreciate it so much and don't forget to check out my new channel how to train your caterpillar I would appreciate that so much too if you feel like doing that Aries many blessings love and light